It was a sunny day in Raleigh, North Carolina as the Gales faced Coastal Carolina in the regional opener of the NCAA baseball tournament. This is the first year in St. Mary's history to advance to the tournament and both players and fans were excited for game one to get underway. Go Gales! The Gales came out of the dugout hot in the first inning and not just due to the heat outside, it was thanks to a huge hit over the left field wall by senior Anthony Gonsolin to bring in one run for St. Mary's. St. Mary's defense proved strong in the first and second innings with a double play and pitcher Corbin Burns threw three strikeouts. But a base hit with the bases loaded in the bottom of the third scored two for Coastal Carolina. The Chanticleers would go on to score three more runs, two coming off of pass balls in the fifth. The Gales adjusted with some pitching changes to hold Coastal at five runs for the remainder of the game. As St. Mary's continued to fight on the offensive side, they would only go on to score one more run in the top of the sixth. The Gales fell to the Chanticleers with a final score of two to five. Coach Valenzuela spoke afterwards about the game. Uh, hey, I thought it was a good baseball game. Um, Coast was very good, very offensive. Uh, six left-handed hitters in the lineup. Um, power, you know, they really run. Uh, athletic, um, very well coached. So give the credit to those guys. Uh, they just beat us. Um, thought our guys competed, thought they battled. Um, but we just fell a little short. Um, you know, credit to Coach Gilmore and, uh, uh, and his guys. So we got a long ways to go. It's just one game. Um, the offense will be there tomorrow. Um, and I think, like Coach said, we got plenty of depth on the mound. Um, so we're going to come back with a little vengeance tomorrow and uh, play some baseball. St. Mary's will be back in action Saturday, June 4th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And they will face the loser of the NC State Navy matchup. Let's go, Gales.